Pathfinders, mark time, march. Pathfinders, forward, march. Adventurers, Pathfinders, left and right face. Adventure, adventurers, your adventure pledge. Adventurers, your law. Adventurers, your song. We are adventurers. Our old high school life where we are adventurers. We're learning every day to be honest, kind and true, to be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurers. Good. Pathfinders, your pledge. Pathfinders, your law. Pathfinders, your song. truth and purity, a message to tell to the world, a truth that will set us free, King Jesus the Savior is coming back for you and me. Color guards, prepare to post colors. Post colors. position. Notre Père, notre Dieu, nous bénissons ton Seigneur, nous pour privilège ou bonne pour nous servir. Merci pour cette belle journée de sabbat. Et maintenant, nous sommes parvenus au moment où nous allons investir les enfants, les jeunes pour l'avancement de ton œuvre. Dès que ton Saint-Esprit habite au milieu de nous et que tout ça nous fait capable de suivre et glorifier nous. Bénis les jeunes, bénis la direction, bénis nous tous. Nous prions au nom de Jésus. Amen. Pathfinders, adventurers, attention. At ease. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, you guys can do better than that. Good afternoon, everyone. You know, even if the church is empty, the angels are here because you guys work so hard. And I'm so proud of you. You work so hard throughout the year. So I know even the people are not here, but the angels are here to assist you this afternoon, to applaud you for your hard work. And praise God for that. We welcome every one of you for coming this afternoon, especially the council. We thank you and we welcome you for coming to our investi investiture for this year. 
just because, uh, just before we start the program, we're going to call the children, uh, the adventurers with Sister Widna and a special song. Good afternoon and happy Sabbath to each and every one of you. It is a pleasure to be here this afternoon, and um, it is my understanding that the director for the Adventure Club, Sophie, is out of town. And I have to tell you, if I had the opportunity to travel to Haiti, I wouldn't hesitate either. I'd be over there also. But I can tell you, I know she's very proud of what's happening here this, uh, this afternoon. For it is the investiture of these um, adventures for their efforts throughout the adventure year. And it is with great pleasure that we're here this afternoon to be able to celebrate and acknowledge everything that they have done. Um, it's good to be here um, and see what our clubs have done. And I'm going to take the liberty of speaking to you in English this afternoon. I know the Pathfinder Council, Abigail, she says she took so many years of French, so I'm going to let her talk in French when it's her time to come up here. I'll go ahead and do my part in English, though. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have um, ever felt that when we take on the challenge of bringing our kids to Christ, it is not the easiest task to do. Have you ever tried to eat healthy? What is cheaper to do? Is it cheaper to eat healthy or is it cheaper to eat not healthy? You can go out and for about a dollar, you can have a non-healthy meal. But try and get a healthy meal 
And how much will that cost you? About twice, if not three times more. And it's not any different when it comes to raising our kids and putting Christ first in their lives. It takes an effort, and it is a challenge at times. But the reward is much greater than even our minds can comprehend at this time. We are here to celebrate what is an investiture of our young people with Pathfinders and our little ones in adventures. But this is only the beginning of the journey, for there is such great things that lie before them in which they are going to now apply what they've learned. One thing is to recite the things that they've been able to do throughout the year, but to apply them in life, that is where we as parents, we as a church, directors, staff, that's where we see the blessing, the richness of what they've learned when they're able to apply that in society. And I guarantee you, that moment will come. Maybe not at this precise moment in their lives, but God will manifest himself at the perfect time in their lives. I ask you, parents, church, leaders, directors of these kids, do we have two, three benches of perfect young people here, of Pathfinders, who have not made a mistake at all? Do we have two, three benches of adventures here who have behaved properly in every moment and have never committed an error in their lives? Absolutely not. As we have when we were children, they have failed. They have committed errors as we have. And they will continue to do so. It's part of the human life and our nature that we live in at this moment. You know, the prophet Jeremiah, he lived in a very difficult time when the Bible presents one of the roles he had to do, which was to go and give a message that was God-given. And you know, when he had to give a message that was in the benefit of the people, how did they accept him? They talked bad about him. They ridiculed him. They even beat him. For the messages that he brought so much that in Jeremiah chapter 20 it says he got tired he said wait a minute I can't take this anymore I have spoken God's word I have asked I've done what my parents asked me to do I've listened to what they've said and I go to school and I'm criticized for it and I have to meet with difficulty verse 8 of Jeremiah 20 says for I, for since I spake I cried out I cried violence and spoil because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily. And listen to what Jeremiah said. He got tired in, chapter, in verse 9 and says, Then I said, I will not make mention of him anymore. Jeremiah did not want to talk about God anymore. I will not speak his name. But then something happened. See, that's what in life happens to us sometimes. As parents, as children, there comes a point when we get fed up with life. Why is it that we have to continue this walk if it's so difficult at times? And we, like Jeremiah, sometimes say, why? Why do I have to always be going against the current? But Jeremiah said, but his word was in my heart, and I was weary with forbearing. And it says there that um, when he felt the word that was in him, it was a burning in his bones something that was within him and contained throughout that time when he was in difficulty. You see, when they have to experience something in life later on, that is when they will apply these principles that will be burning in their bones. The word of Christ in knowing what to do and how to handle those situations in life. And like Jeremiah, instructed by God to go to the potter's house, so will they, to understand a very important principle that when that potter had that vessel in his hand, it became what? Marred. That means it was changed from its original state, damaged. But what did the potter do with that vessel? He reconstructed it and built it to where he saw it was fit. And likewise, that is God's promise to us. He tells us this challenge that you have taken to lead these children to me through these ministries is a bond, is a pact that you have established with me in which now I apply a promise that I will be there for them and I will change them and make them to perfection as I see fit. Those are strong words by God. That is a great promise to be able to cling to, to know young people that even though we may fail, to know adventures, that even though we make mistakes, there is a God who understands us. There is a God who is willing to give us a second chance. And there is a God 
who is willing to rebuild us and reconstruct us like the original vessel, the original vessel that was there. If you had the opportunity to be able to see the great works of the grand potter, our creator, Christ himself, you would see the great creations he has made. And you would see these are the different vessels that I have made in perfection. And you'd see angels. And you'd see the capability that they would have. And you'd say, this is perfection. But that potter would tell you, no, don't settle for what you see right in front. Come with me. Come with me to see what I have in the back. And he would take you to the back. And he would show you the shelves of the reconstructed vessels that he has and would say, these are the creations that are dear in my heart. And those vessels would be you, you pathfinders, adventurers, each one of us, those that have failed in our Christian walk but have been reconstructed by Christ. And it is said that we are of his greatest vessels because Christ delights himself in reconstructing us when we allow him to bring us closer to him. This is only the beginning of a life and a pattern that our youth, that our small children are establishing in their lives. And we are a testimony of what is going to happen in their lives. I want to um, commend you as a church, as a family, for the hard work that you do in making this type of ministries possible in your church. It is of great importance because the times that we live in are times that are difficult as compared to when we were growing up. And we have to arm them with every capability and every arsenal possible so that they can confront society today. Is it easy? No. Is it a great challenge? Absolutely. But the benefits are far beyond what we could ever expect. We don't understand the power that has been deposited in each one of our youth, each one of our children throughout this year. And to mention the directors and staff, they will never forget you, never. They will live their lives and they will grow, off, grow up so long as God grants us time on this earth. And they will always have you in their heart. I tell you that because to this day, I carry dear in my heart, my Pathfinder director, our staff members. They committed errors in their life, but they're very dear in my heart for the work they did with me. And so will it be with the adventures and the Pathfinders. They will not forget those important people, folks in church who were there for them when they needed them. Because what we do not see are the great blessings that lie ahead because of the work that is being done now. And that day when we are face to face with our creator, with Jesus Christ, he himself will give us that special blessing and place in our crown what we are given by him for the work done with these children. And it will be a fabulous day because then we will be able to say, here I return to you what you have given me on this earth, our children. And that is the greatest blessing that we have as a family, to be able to conform to God's call in instructing his children and being able to prepare them now so that when they grow old, they will not depart from what they have learned. It is a great blessing and a great honor this afternoon to be here, uh, my wife, Marcella, and myself as coordinators for the adventure program here in the Houston Bay Area, and to be able to officially say that the adventures, by the information given to me this afternoon, have successfully completed all of the, um, all of the requirements in order to be invested this afternoon. So on behalf of the Texas Conference and as representatives, we officially now open the uh, investiture ceremony. I'm going to ask if Marcella, my wife, will help and um, come up and help us to um, give the pins for um, the adventures. Um, I'm going to also ask um, Abby if you'll come up and help us and, and do the pinning and, the, and giving the certificates. And the representative that is covering for Sophie, if you'll help us, because I do not want to pronounce any name incorrectly. Okay, we're going to begin with Eager Beavers. We're going to call Mariana. Mariana's not here. Jenny Pierre. <laughs> Nora Baulet.
We're going to ask when we call you up here to stay here, Mika. Mirlinski Jean Charles, he's not here, so I'm going to ask his dad to come and accept on his behalf. Kersha Gilnis. Luke Son Mildor, who is also absent. Alyssa Biasu. And we're going to continue with Helping Hand. We have Jayana Pierre Exantus, I'm sorry. Jayana Exantus and Abraham Stanville. And we're gonna move on to Builder. We're gonna call Ralph Lewis. And then we're going to continue with Sunbeam, Jessica Pierre. Um, these three kids did two, two books at the same time. So they did Sunbeam and Busy Bee. And that is Jessica Pierre, Bradley Lewis, and Christina Mondesier. They did Sunbeam and Busy Bee. Okay, and they also did some honors, so we're going to pass that out right now. Luke Son, who is not here. Milinski, we're going to ask his dad to accept his honors for him. Milinski Jean Charles, who completed four honors. <laughs> Noah, who also completed four. Noah. Jenica, who completed four. And Alyssa, who completed four. We're going to move on with Abraham, who completed three. Jayana Exantis, who also completed three. Ralph Lewis, who com completed two. And also attended a, a Pathfinder camp, so he gets a Pathfinder patch also. A Camp Re patch, I'm sorry. And then we're going to move on to Sunbeam and Busy Bee. These are the kids that did two classes. Christina Mondesi, who completed two, three honors. Bradley Lewis, who completed three and also did a campery. And Jessica, who completed three. Okay. And at this time, we're going to ask the pastor to come up and offer a consecration prayer. And we would like to together. Okay. So we're going to move on with Pathfinders. So we're going to ask the Adventures to take a seat and afterwards we'll call you back up. We're going to move on with Pathfinders Investiture.
Okay. To begin with the Pathfinders Investiture, I have certified, checked, signed the books, and have made sure that the Pathfinders are ready for investiture. Happy Sabbath, church. I'm glad to be here this afternoon, and thank you, Jonah, for your certification. Um, I'd like to share with the Pathfinders a verse. I never go to a church without sharing the Bible. So um, I know that this year you guys probably did a lot of marching, a lot of knots, a lot of competition, a lot of rules. And it kind of makes you wonder, you know, why so many things, why so many rules, right? But as Brother Steve was saying, that you hope that you practice that, right? And that's what our parents, your parents hope, that what you learn, you practice it, you just don't get a pen or a patch, because you're probably gonna lose it someday. But you do not, you will not lose what you keep in your mind and in your heart. So I wanna share with you Proverbs 3, verses five through seven. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Pathfinders, I want to tell you, whatever you've learned this year, if you put this verse to what you've learned, God will bless you. Everything that you have learned, you can lose a patch, you can lose a pin, but you cannot lose what you have in your heart and in your mind, and you always remember that if you shun evil, God will always be with you. Congratulations on this new year, and as Pathfinder Coordinator and Texas Representative, officially, I open this investiture ceremony for Pathfinders of Haitian Bethany. Um, I would like to invite the Master Guide the Adventure Coordinators to come back up and help me pin the Pathfinders and all the Master Guides who are here with us also. Okay, we're gonna start with the kids that completed their friend class. Okay, we're gonna begin with Claudia Joachim, who completed two honors and did a campery. <laughs> Jamie Mapierre, who completed two honors. <laughs> Gianna Gustav, who also completed two honors. And I would like to say for Gianna, we did a the end of the year test that we did, she scored the highest score. She did a score I did not even think she would do, so I just wanna say, you know, it does not go unrecognized. <laughs> Josie Exantis, who completed two honors. <laughs> Veoni Xavier, who completed two honors. Okay, and we're going to move on to companion. We're gonna call Hilary Joachim, who did two honors and also did a campery.
we'll see Jean Sha, who did two honors and a camp free, and we're going to ask her dad to please accept on her behalf. Odlen Xavier, who did one honor. Renika Mondesi, who did two honors. Cindy Biasu, who did two honors, Anna Campari. Dora Cesar, who did a two honors, Anna Campari. PJ Exantus, who did two honors. And Rishmi Xavier, who also did two honors. Okay, and at this time, we're gonna ask all the adventurers to please join with the Pathfinders. And while they're coming up, we're gonna have a special song by Gianna, Gianna Exantus. A special music. All the Pathfinders, all the remaining Pathfinders and Adventurers, please come up. And we're gonna ask Pastor. Before we um, do the consecration prayer, we have, um, I'm sorry, give me one second. Adventurers, your director sent me a message to read to you guys before we continue. Adventurers, are you listening? This is from Sophie, your director. She says, Dear Adventurers, it has been a pleasure working with each and every single one of you this past year. It was a challenge, however, seeing the joy in your face as you completed every goal made me realize that it is a blessing being a part of the Orion Adventure Department. I am honored to be able to not just teach you all about God, but show you how awesome he truly is. I hope that every song you've sung, every flag you've raised, every step you've marched, every page you've completed, every Bible verse you've studied, every time you've re recited the Adventure Pledge in Law, you've truly understood that because Jesus loves you, you will always do your best. Congratulations, adventurers. You all have complete, completed a successful year with God's help. Let's make this new year an even greater success. Have a blessed Sabbath. And also, she has told me that she has chosen an eager beaver of the year and an adventure of the year. Um, we don't have the certificate right now, but next week, get with us, and we'll give you your prizes and your certificate. But Eager Beaver of the Year is Melinsky Jean Charles. He is not here. And Adventure of the Year is Jayana Exantus. And for my Pathfinder of the Year, this young man, when he first came into the program, sometimes I wanted to run. He did not listen, he didn't want to do anything. That person is Jose Exantis. <laughs> 
In the beginning, he didn't want to do his work. He didn't want to do nothing. But as the year went along, he went from, why do I have to do this, to, Jonah, do you need help with this? Jonah, do you need help with that? Can I do this? Can I do that? I remember I had a, a, a fun day outside, and all the kids were playing. There was balloons on the floor. Nobody, I was cleaning and swooping all by myself. Nobody paid me any mind. And I see Joseph coming out the door with the broom and a desk fan. He just started helping me. So I just want you to know that I, you know, I recognize you. Um, we're going to ask Pastor William to come up and offer the consecration prayer. And um, the parents, if you have a kid up here, we would like to also ask you to join us up here with your kids as we do the consecration prayer. demander pour l'église ça capable chanter ce chant avec moi pendant que parents ont avancé en moi Seigneur viens mettre un hôtel au descend du ciel au cœur I, I like the church to sing that song with me as the parents are coming forward en moi Seigneur viens mettre un hôtel, viens mettre un hôtel. en moi Seigneur Viens mettre nos terres au délicieux du ciel, au cœur de mon cœur. Oh Dieu, mon cœur en ce ce sabbat après-midi pour la grâce que tu as faite à tes enfants pour l'opportunité que tu donnes à ces jeunes à nos enfants de se former et de réussir les examens qui leur ont été donnés Seigneur nous bénissons ton nom car en cet après-midi, notre joie est grande. Nous voyons nos enfants euh, se faire investir avec différentes grades et pour que demain, ils soient utiles. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to bless your name for what you did with your children in this church. We want to bless your name for the teachers, for the directors, for the leaders, because without you, Lord, it would be impossible to be here in this moment. We are sure the future of the church is in your hand by the children. We are sure next Saturday, next month, next year, we will have a preacher in this church. 
we will have people to serve you, to make your church alive. Thank you, Divinity Father, because we have with us today the leaders from the Texas Conference or in the Houston Bay area uh, to for help your church be done in seven day advances uh, to make this investiture. Seigneur, tu voudras bénir chacun de tes enfants, les adultes, les jeunes, les enfants. Seigneur, tu diras pour tes enfants dans cette église, vous êtes mes témoins. Tu diras pour tes enfants dans cette église, vous êtes mes enfants. Et quand bientôt Jésus-Christ apparaîtra du ciel, cette cohorte de jeunes marqueront les pas. Les jeunes chanteront le cantique de Moïse et celui de l'agneau. And absolutely, Lord, with the angels, we can say, glory to God, now we will be with our Jesus forever. Mais en attendant tout ça, Seigneur, bénis Timoun nous, mettez main au sou, rendez-vous fort, rendez-vous vivant, rendez-vous au tendre au Père des enfants qui a chanté pour eux-mêmes sans être bruyant fait au brillant et ainsi le lendemain de l'église qu'elle va assurer béni sister Sophie qui parle bless my sister Jonah for all things she's accomplished for oh, for you with uh, the, 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 the pathfinders bless my dear sister Fabiola She's the new uh, youth director in this church. God, the oh Lord, is mine. Et avec ce Fabiola, we can have a blessing here for your glory. Thank you, Lord. I pray you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to ask the adventurers and eager beavers to please hand your parents your certificate and your honor bag. And we're going to ask the parents to please take them so that when you get home, you may be able to put it on their patch, on their sash. And before we have our closing remark, we're going to have a special song by a girl group. God is able. 
just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Fabi, I just want to say a special thank you to the staff, Brother Jeff there, who was our assistant youth director. Um, we had our counselors, Pueblo Louis, um, Jacquean Exantis, Bayan Xavier. We also had Jason Mondesir with us. And I just want to say thank you to each one of you, and especially, even though Fabi was in Master Guide, she was also in Adventures. Pathfinder, she was doing a little bit of everything, so I want to say a big thank you, Fabi. And to the parents, you know, sometimes we'll meet and y'all would need to go home, but y'all would stay back anyways, and I just want to say thank you, and I hope the new year is a big success. Okay, we're basically done with our program. This is for our parents. Some of the kids didn't get invested. Some of the kids didn't get any honors. So. It's a will, it's not a game, it's a will thing. If the kids don't complete the class, we cannot give them the credit. They have to come to class, they have to come. It's a must, it's a, they have to follow the, they have to complete the curriculum. But Steven, but what Steve, the first thing that he asked me, did they complete everything? If they did not complete, he will not sign those things. And I cannot lie to him because it's a sin, I wanna go to heaven. So I, I cannot lie if the kids didn't complete the program for me to tell Brother Stephen or Sister Gabrielle that they completed it. So I, I'm hoping that none of you get upset the fact that your, your kids didn't get invested or they didn't get uh, their honor. What we're gonna do next year, we're gonna make sure that they come to devotion, they come to class, they come to every program that we are having for these kids. It's good for them. It's, it, it, I mean, it's a great way to bring them to heaven, you see? Because what we're giving them right now, that's what they're gonna take with them. When you are not here, when you are not, when I, not around, that's what they have with them. So please, um, next year, since it's basically the same staff pass, next year that's working with them, so, uh, with, with more leaders. So therefore, I'm asking all the parents, my mother, parents, support us. Robren, Pabli uh, offrant nous too, of course. You know, we, we cannot do, uh, the consoles are here. This is the most expensive department in the department in the church, isn't it? 
So we need your support financially as well. So um, therefore, um, that, c'est ça seulement. Nous, nous t'es wonderful. Nous t'es wonderful. Let que nous stress. We are stressed with the kids. And then you guys are coming. You know, you're wonderful. All I'm asking you now to do is to bring the kids when we need them so we can work with them. Brother Renel couldn't be here. He was supposed to be the one doing this, but he's not feeling well. He had to leave. He's a youth leader. So uh, unfortunately, he had to leave. We, are, we have something very important that we have to say. Sister Jonah... Today, it's your birthday. And it's your birthday. It's a blessing that it's your birthday on a Sabbath. We were supposed to surprise you with a birthday party. The birthday party is still on. Everybody do an effort to bring the thing. But it's just not a surprise because everything is not here yet. So we are asking you, sisters, to, um, Jonah, surprise. Please wait for us as we get everything settled so we can surprise you. <laughs> okay? So I would like everybody before we conclude and to, I'm going to get her and we're going to sing happy birthday for her. She's a great leader. She tried hard. Surprise. Everybody surprise. Surprise. We wanted to surprise her, but the surprise didn't come quite through. So let's sing happy birthday for her. And then I'm going to ask Pastor Senek. Um, Edmond, to have a special prayer for my dear sister here. She needs it. My dear sister here, she's my little sister. She's my right hand. She's my, she's mine. <laughs> okay. So we're going to sing happy birthday for Jonah and she's going to stay, although I know she has a hard day tonight. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But anyway, she's going to stay with us and we're going to get things ready and she's going to celebrate. Right, Jonah? Right. All right, all right. Happy birthday. Yes, I'll come and say, Brother Jeff, you can start for us. I don't have a voice anymore. She's 18 years old. <laughs> All right, Pastor Sene, can you come and pray for our sister, please? So God can give her much more and everything that... Um, anyway. <laughs> Just bow our heads and Jonah, we're going to pray with Jonah. Pastor, can you come and join us? Éternel, notre Seigneur et notre Dieu, Papa, nous qui nous ciel. Comment t'as fait par Dieu merci pour grâce particulière qu'on déverse dans la vie petite. Comment t'as fait par louer non parce qu'on choisit pour mettre en part nos services spéciaux. Comment t'as fait par bah, genoux devant vous lorsque nous reconnaissons si c'est pas tes ou c'est pas la taille. Éternel, autour de notre Père, dans un moment ça, nous venons avec petit tout pour nous dire merci pour jour ça qu'on permette que le saluer. Nous voulons nous merci parce qu'on permet que durant la croissance, il y ait une chance pour rencontrer. Nous nous merci, Seigneur, parce que tout jeune que lié, on va servir avec lui pour le mener l'autre jeune à la croix sanglante du prince Emmanuel. Nous connaissons que le pas facile. Nous connaissons que c'est en lutte. Et c'est ça que fait nous venir joindre nous dans le moment ça avec lui. Bon Dieu, t'en prie, papa. So commencer dans la ville là. Continuez pour nous soupler. Continuez, l'eau éternel. Et que le cas ait chance. Saluer. En plus, l'autre jour qu'on sent encore dans la ville. Mais qu'à chaque fois, je suis arrivé. Pour le songer, Dieu merci pour l'intervention dans la ville. 
nang mo mong sao pe nang mando utang pagi bali yung du porsyon de te gras et de te benediction tandis que la genou devant o eternel nang mando souple répond à des écueils nang mando utang pagi kute kri kap soti dans fond kue li et permette au éternel que ces noms qui glorifient dans la ville prennent par la main souple et guide de manière toute spéciale au éternel n'a pas demandé pour capable visiter pour nous souple dans travail que l'a fait dans l'église ou en permette que capable bon gros influence sur chaque jeune que le rencontrer et que capable former un cohort pour y aller dans le ciel là avec vous. que l'influence c'est pour prendre racine l'église pour connaître nous et pour servir vous comme moi des rois et seigneurs des seigneurs visite écoute pardonne nous prions au nom de Jésus ton fils lui qui vient qui règne et maintenant au siècle des siècles We're going to have a closing prayer by Fresh Jeffrey Moldes here. Please, everyone, stand up. Adventurers, Pathfinders, attention. Position pour la prière. Heavenly Father, we glorify your name at this time. We thank you for what you've accomplished this evening, this afternoon, in the midst of us. Thank you for the hope. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the love that you have implanted right here in this place. And as we are about to depart from each other, we need you, Lord, to keep on blessing every single one of us here, especially the ones you have entrusted with those special ministries. And they've left uh, their respective places and have come here to share wisdom with us. May you continue to bless, Lord, these coordinators, these directors. And you do the same, Lord, for those you have entrusted with uh, the ministry of pathfindering path, path here in this church, as well as adventurers. We ask, Lord, that you please shine your face upon us. And give us to be victorious, have you always done, for those you love. May your grace, may your love, the ever-ending love that is only coming from you, be with us right now and forever. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Alice.